Hi guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So, vectors from freepick.com, I will add download link and project files. First step, select these shape layers without background and without this white layer. Right mouse and select precomp. Let's add name animation. Click OK. Then select this white, let's Ctrl D for duplicate, again Ctrl D and again Ctrl D. We want to for white layer. Then select this animation and move to here. And if you not see here, click toggle switch mode and change non to alpha matte white to. Okay, then we have two layers and let's select this white to, go to none and select luma inverted matte white 4 nice then select this white 4 we can change like this okay then go to window open animation composer anchor point mover and click this for moved anchor point right also you can use this palm behind icon for moved anchor point right okay let's click and select this white 4, press S and let's change scale like this ok and click this for move to anchor point left and let's cut like this ok not bad so let's close anchor point mover and let's open this animation composition and let's select this blue, go to FX preset, search effect wave warp, select this wave warp, use for this blue shape layer. And let's change like this. Let's change 120. Let's see. Okay, nice. And go to pinning, change all edge. Nice. Let's back to motion. Okay, not bad. Let's back to animation and use this wave warp for yellow. Change pinning all edge. And let's change like this. Let's see. Okay, let's back to motion. Okay, not bad. Let's back to animation and select this yellow move to up nice we can change like this okay not bad then select this pink and let's go to solo use wave warp and change wave width change pinning all edge ok not bad let's unsolo nice let's change like this let's see here ok let's control z ok so in this time let's create new null object right mouse new and null object change name controller and hold control let's double click for move to anchor point center ok click selection tool and let's move to here select this hand right and hand left and object and i pair onto this controller select this controller let's see okay not bad let's press s change scale okay let's control z so in this time go to first shape frame press p make new patching shape frame and move to left let's see or move to down like this 
okay and go to 10k frame for shortcut you can use hold shift press page down in the keyboard or click here right plus 10 and let's move to up and right and hold shift press s let's change scale okay let's see nice select key frames make easy and let's go to here move to up go to 10k frame move to down go to 10k frame again move to up and down let's see okay select key frames we have a little problem let's when we select the key frames right mouse key frame interpolation change auto bezier to linear click ok let's see ok let's see here nice and select this controller hold shift press air make rotation key frame and go to here change rotation let's change three go to here change minus two go to here change one and go to last key frame change zero select key frames make it easy let's see okay let's see here nice and in this time select this controller let's make new passing key frame go to 10 key frame and let's move to left and go to here make rotation key frame go to here change rotation let's see and in this time go to here make scale key frame and go to last key frame change scale let's see okay let's change scale like this again change and move to right select key frame scale make easy let's see okay let's change 110 this scale okay and select key frames move to right and go to center select this and move to up or down let's see okay select key frames go to graph editor and let's select this graph move to right let's see here okay and go to here make new key frames and go to 10 key frame or go to here and move to right change rotation and move to up let's see and go to center let's move to down for bones effect let's see nice select key frames move to right okay and let's select this key frame move to up okay select key frames hold alt move to left for speed animation let's see okay and go to here make new key frame again go to fifth key frame select first key frame control c control v let's see okay and in this time let's move to down let's move to right this key frames okay let's see nice so in this time select these eyes press s click this icon and go to here make scale key frame go to 3k frame 1 to 3 change scale 5 go to 3k frame again 1 to 3 change 100 select key frames make easy and 
Select the keyframes, Ctrl C. Go to here, Ctrl V. Ctrl V again. And again, Ctrl V. Let's select this keyframe, move to here. And this, move to here. Let's see. Nice. So in this time, select this I, press P, and go to here, make new position keyframe, go to here, move to left, let's see, okay, and in this time, make new position keyframe, go to here, move to right, and go to here, make new position keyframe, go to last keyframe, Select first keyframe, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and select keyframes, make easy. Let's see. Okay, nice. So in this time, let's select this type, go to solo, move the anchor point down, click selection tool, and go to window, open animation composer 3. So this animation composer 3 is free plugin, you can download it in official website Mr. Horse. So let's open starter pack and to the layer, let's use this overshot scale. Okay, let's click in and close. Okay, let's move to right this for smooth animation and unsolo. Let's move to right. Okay, let's nice and select these lines pair them to this type and go to here select this line layers go to solo and go to window open anchor point mover Move to left, anchor point, and this line 2, move to left, and this line 3, move to left. Press S, click this icon, make scale keyframe, and change scale 0, go to 10 keyframe, change 100. Select keyframe, make easy. Let's select work area, let's see. Okay, select this last keyframe, move to right, go to graph editor, and let's select this graph, move to left. Okay, select this scale keyframe, Ctrl C, select this line 2, Ctrl V, press U for C keyframe and move to left. Okay, and line 1, Ctrl V and press U for C keyframe and move to left. Then select this keyframes and unsolo, go to here and move to left. Let's see. Okay, let's close keyframes and select this type line 3, 2, 1. Move to left. Nice. So select this star 1, go to first second, press S, make scale keyframe, change 0, go to 10 keyframe, change 100, go to 10 keyframe again, change 0. Select keyframe, make easy, and select this scale keyframe, select this star 2, 3 and 4, press S, Ctrl V. Okay, and hold Alt. Click star 1 scale keyframe, hold alt for expression, open expression, go to play button, property, loop out duration. Let's see. Okay, again hold alt, click scale star 2, play button, property, loop out duration. Again star 3, hold alt, click here, play button, property, loop out duration. And finally hold alt, click here, play button, property, loop out duration. Let's close settings. 
and for random animation let's move to right these stars let's see okay nice so let's back to motion nice Okay, let's create new null object, right mouse, new and null object. Let's click this icon for C, C toggle mask and shape paths. Hold control double click for move anchor point center. And let's change name controller. Then select these all layers without background, pair onto this controller. Select this controller, let's press P. Hold Shift, press R, and go to here. Let's make K frames. Go to 10K frame. Let's move to up. Go to 10K frame, move to down. Go to 10K frame again, move to up. Select K frames, make easies. Let's see. Nice. And in this time, make new K frame, new position, and new rotation go to here let's move to left and change rotation go to here move to down for bones effect let's see nice select rotation shape frames make easy let's see nice and go to here make new shape frames new rotation and new position go to here and move to right, change rotation, select shape frames, move to right and go to center, move to down, let's see, okay and go to here, make new rotation and new position shape frame, go to last shape frame and change rotation 0 and select first J frame control C control V and move to down let's see good very good let's see full project so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on Instagram good luck